Hello students. Now let us solve some programs. Let us learn how to write Python programs. Those who already know, they will just revise the portion. So whenever we use print command, print command is used to display any message. Like we want to display a message, welcome to Python programming. So it will be displayed like this. Now sum of two numbers if it is asked. So first is we are using hash to write a comment. Now comment to display the sum of two numbers. So display sum of two numbers. Now, when you are adding two numbers, there are so many different methods to add. Like directly, if I write here print, we know the, suppose we know the number 5 plus 6. Now, when you will run it, it will show here the output is 11. Clear? Now, if you don't want to, suppose... Now, same program, suppose I want to display here the sum of 5 and 6. So, I can take two variables here, suppose x equals to 5 and y equals to 6. And then I am printing here, print x plus y. So, this is a second method to print sum of two numbers. So, you can solve by using any method. Suppose in the exam, they will ask you sum of two numbers. This is also correct, print 5 plus 6. So, this is also displaying the sum of two numbers. Now, this is also displaying the sum of two numbers. Clear? Now, let us see some more methods. Now, from user, I can take the two numbers. So, x is equal to, it can be integer number or it can be a decimal number float. So, int and then I want to take the input from the user and I want to display a message. Enter a number, enter the first number I can display here. First number and the second one it will be enter a second number. So I am simply copying from here. And the second variable I want to give y here. So here the second variable is y and enter the second number. Now, when you want to display the sum, directly also you can write here, print x plus y. It will display here the sum of two numbers. When you are running it, it is showing here, enter the first number is suppose any number you can give. Suppose I am giving here first number as 11 and enter the second number as 22. Then the sum of two number is 33. More user friendly if you want to make, then here you can write with message that sum of this and this, sum of and then x comma and y is. So this is more user friendly when you will run. You can see here it will ask the first number, second number and it will show sum of 11 and 33 is 44. So it is displaying the sum of two numbers. So, so many different methods you can use. All the methods are correct. Any method you can use. Yes, this is more user friendly, the last method. So we will use this last method to display the sum of two numbers now same question if they ask you the difference or the product now directly you can use i am just copying it from here and if the question is display the product of two numbers then here only this will change the operator it will be star so x star y now when you will run it Yes, now when you will run your program, first number is suppose 3 and second number is 11. Now, the yes, the message is wrong. This message, I have to change product of two number. So, product of two number is this. Now, again you run it. The first number can be anything and second number. Now, it will show product of 4 and 11 is 44. Clear? Yeah. So, like this, without using any condition directly for calculation, which all questions will be asked. In calculation, you will find here. Yes. 
now calculation it can be the question based on percentage sum of all the subject marks to calculate the total percentage then bonus discount bonus or festival discount to calculate the square cube any questions can be asked so let us solve more questions now cube you already know square you already know so you will take a number from the user and directly you will display the square so simply i am taking the input from the user try to make it easy so input a number enter a number and then square will be directly you can write here print x star x i think it is very easy so you simply you when you are running it it is asking here a number and it is displaying the square of the number if cube also you want to print then directly you can write here x star x star x so it will print the cube of a number with a message if you want to print here square of x is now x is a variable you can see here i am writing x without quotes but square of is a message so i have to write square of in double quotes x directly i have written and then i am writing here is in double quotes now when you will run it so what it will display square of x is this now i am copying it from here and i am pasting it here and this i am changing to cube so cube of x is x into x into x now when you will run it you can see here it is asking for a number if i have given here 2 then square of 2 is 4 and cube of 2 is 8 so like this all the programs small small programs you practice it because this will come in your theory exam now next question we are calculating some discount suppose you have gone to market and in market you are finding that 50% discount is being given in all the products now what you will see you will see first what is the price of the product price it can be in decimal so float you can write here and then you can take the input from the user input enter the price of the product and then if you are asked to calculate the discount now discount is equal to suppose 50% discount is given on all the products so product into 50% so star 50 slash 100 you can write here and then you can display the discount as well as the discounted price to display we use print command and if you are asked to display the net price after discount so net price will be the original price minus discount so original price is p minus discount is d now when you are running this program okay here i haven't entered the value so it is showing i will open ideally and i will show you the program is correct but in jupiter these days if you are making any corrections then it is not getting executed so the same program i have pasted here and when i am running it it will ask you to save so let me give here some programs today we are doing all the one series tomorrow we will do all the two series so enter the price so this is in ideally you can do your programming in ideally or in jupiter or in spider or in mobile pydroid 3 so enter the price of the product if it is 100 rupees it should show 50 yes correct so net price is 50 rupees understood now next program will be you can write, type here also new file next program now hash is used to write the comment now suppose you are asked to calculate the percentage of your five subject marks or you are asked to calculate the area of a circle area of a square rectangle so for area what you will do suppose area let us do it 
you require if it is a square field you require the side so you will take the side from the user int input enter the side enter the side of the square field or ground and then here area will be equal to side into side sometimes the formula is given in the question paper so you don't have to remember the formula also now print the area of a square ground is equals to area now when you will run this again it will ask to save here so 1.2 p 1.2 series we are doing save it is asking enter the side and then when you are entering the side here the output window yes now we are entering the side here so suppose the side is 10 so 10 into 10 it will show here area is 100 if it is a rectangular ground then length and breadth you have to take and then you have to print the area suppose length enter the length and then enter the breadth so i am simply copying you just solve the questions because programming is very important in computer science and informatics practices as well as in ai also you have seen so breadth now here it will be length into breadth area will be equal to length into breadth so l star b and you are printing the area now when you will run this program it will ask you the length suppose length is 10 and breadth is 5 so 10 5 the 50 so it will show area is 50 now here also if you want to make it user friendly the area of the ground rectangular ground is area of the rectangular ground is area so this is showing the area of the rectangular ground. You can run and you can see it. It is asking here the length. Length is suppose 11 and breadth is suppose 8. 11, 8, 88. It is showing here area of the rectangular ground is 88. So like this all the programs you just solve it. Now the other programs I am showing you the list of programs. In this, yes, now let us solve some more programs. You can pause the video, you solve the programs and then you check from the programs which are shown here. So, the other programs will be to find the perimeter of a ground. So, here perimeter will be asked or so this is question number one perimeter then the other questions here only i am writing question number two it can be the cost of painting a wall cost of painting a wall already many videos are already there you can go through those videos and i will share the link also so programming as much as you practice it will be beneficial for you in your theory exams so cost of painting cost of tiling calculation of the net price net salary so net salary of employees like this many questions you can so this is a normal programming let us solve one at least so any net salary of employee let us solve today so we are solving now salary calculation for this what you require you require it can be a per day rate basis 
or monthly salary it is given and on that salary you can add the allowances and deduct the deductions so suppose here the salary you are taking per day so rate it is displayed or per day salary so i am writing here salary per day equals to you are taking from the user it can be a decimal number so float input enter the per day salary now monthly when you have to calculate you either you have to ask for the month or number of days so here number of days i am asking from the user it can be a integer number so int input enter the total number of days enter the number of days and then simply you have to find the product of the two for calculating the total salary so total salary is equals to salary into number of days now if they ask you that there are some additions allowances given suppose the dearness allowance is given and how much is the dearness allowance suppose it is 20% is given to user now if you know the allowance directly also you can calculate so it will be total salary if it is not given you have to ask the user to enter just now i have told you 20% so i am directly taking so this allowance i have calculated now my net salary will be equal to my total salary total salary plus the allowances allowances are already always added and deductions are always subtracted so it is added now you can print the net salary so net salary is equals to this so when you will run the program it will ask you per day salary suppose i am getting per day 100 rupees and number of days i have worked for 30 days so 3000 will be my salary total salary now 20% dearness allowance i am getting on 3000 so 20% dearness allowance on 3000 is 600 so the net salary will be 3000 plus 600 that is 3600 so like this you solve all these questions which are given cost of painting a wall you will find out the area and then you will calculate the total cost perimeter is only the outline of that area so next video will be on if what all programs will be asked in if like greater of two numbers a number is divisible by the second number or not leap year or not so all the if programs will be in the second video so go through these programs which we have done today these the first programs also as well as this second programs also so these first programs so sum of two numbers product of two numbers same way the difference of two numbers minus sign will be there if it is quotient of two numbers slash double slash will be there if it is modulus then percent sign will be there so these all questions you practice i think it is very easy and normally sum of two numbers is asked in exam so you go through this program so thank you have a nice day